Hello everybody. Today I'm doing a quick kind of overview of uh, some holsters that I have. This video is mainly for this holster here. It's the newest one I just purchased, so it's kind of an overview mainly of this. I'm just going to be comparing it to those two. So this one here is the uh, Praetor Defense made by Blade Tech. Um, good, this is a concealment holster. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you guys the differences between all of these and, you know, why I'm, you know, it's kind of my opinion on this one. All right. Okay, everybody. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I have the Uncle Mike's Inside the Pants holster. Here I have the Black Hawk Serpa holster. And right here is the uh, Praetor Defense made by Blade Tech. All three fantastic holsters. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through, like I said, the video is mainly about this one. I just purchased this one and comparing it to these two. So, first things first, you guys all know the Glock. Empty. Always work with the empty firearm. So, go ahead and get started. Originally, first purchased this one for concealment. This is a video about concealment holsters. So, I first purchased um, first purchased this one is the Uncle Mike's. This was about twenty bucks. Now, this one here, this is nylon and it's a inside the pants lefty. So, I'm a lefty. So, yeah. And this fits the Glock very nicely, very snug. Now, for me. It didn't work very well for me. I didn't like it too much just because uh, the nylon just kind of gets real annoying and sweating. Just being inside the pants is too much. So this is too, too close to the body to where it actually just gets very annoying. It just becomes kind of like a nuisance. It's nice to know that it's always there, you know, that, you're always, that your weapon system is like always there. However, it's just, it's too annoying. Let's keep it, let's, you know, let's put it that way. This one here, uh, one of my favorites. This one, the Serpa holster. We all know about the Black Hawk Serpa holster. Um, this one here, very nice. However, this this main problem is it sits very far away from the body. So concealing this one is kind of rough, especially for summertime concealing. That that could be an issue. Uh, it's easy when you're wearing a jacket; it's not a problem. But and this one's good; it has the retention lock on it, so that's always a good thing. You can even hear and snap in. And with the retention lock locked in, you pull it. Nothing's happening until you go ahead and slide it out. So. Now for this bad boy. This one I just purchased today and this one is fantastic. I fell in love right away the first time I tried it on at the store. This one here is uh, like I said the Praetor Defense. It's made by Blade Tech. Now this one is just a, all in all it's fantastic. Made of Kydex, same as this, same as the Black Hawk. Um, this one has the belt loops in it, not the paddle. So that that is that's kind of sus because it gets a little inconvenient sometimes. We always having to work with the work with the belt loop but let's go ahead and get a few things in you know what's going on with this in here inside has real smooth material it's kind of like a smooth plastic material even even the kind of like a rubber inside to help aid in the gripping and as you can see it holds it in very tight very smooth and as opposed to this one it's much fatter so this one here holds it in very smooth and very close to the body so that's what I really liked about this one. It's very good for concealment because of that now let's see go ahead and see the size here I don't have specific size dimensions I'm not getting that details it's just a quick little overview of of these two together so as you can see the difference in width here as far as standing away from the body this one sits much closer than this one does this one's this one's good for just kind of open carry range, you know, like a range holster. This one's just fantastic for concealment. So, like I said, this one I'm very happy with. Um, this one I think it came out to sixty or fifty nine bucks, and that's I mean that's nothing. That's so cheap for something like this. It's sturdy material. I mean, it's fantastic and it's super snug. I know it doesn't have the retention lock like this one but this one fits in super snug I mean I'm pulling pretty hard you have to really give it a nice nice tug to to get something out of it so I really like that it sits very nicely I mean if you ever need to run with it or for some odd reason whatever you're doing if your job calls for that or if you know if you're in a, ever in a situation where you might be needing to run it won't fall out and like I said this one here is good but it just this is garbage compared to this one here this bad boy I suggest this to anybody I mean this is just my personal opinion um, this is nothing you know I'm nobody special but this this is just beautiful I mean look at how smooth and sleek it is and it even looks pretty like let's just put it that way it fits the Glock perfectly 
Um, it even has some, some grooves up top which fit the sights nice so when you slide it, it doesn't screw up the sights right up top in the front sight. So that's very nice and um, it's when you put it, when I have it on, it was odd for like the first maybe 15 minutes but you forget you have it on after a while. It's just kind of, it's like you don't forget but you don't feel it too much. It's not so much of a nuisance like when you're driving sometimes. I had a problem with the Serpa and with this one when I was driving because this one sits way too far out into the body, out, I mean out of the body, outside the waist. This one here is just too damn close and I just, I wasn't liking that too much. So this one is perfect for me. Um, I was originally going to go with the Raven, uh, but I don't like the whole eight week thing waiting period for that. I just figured I need something soon. So I got this one, got it from my local gun store and it is just fabulous and I'm very happy with it. Um, so I go ahead and suggest this to anybody. Uh, yeah, feel free to comment and, you know, anything like that. Alright guys, thank you. Alright everybody, so as you can see, it sits real snug, close to the body, as opposed to the uh, Black Hawk Serpa holster. It's a little bit further out, it comes out to about here, so it's a little bit tougher to conceal. In like summertime, for example, this is why I got this, for summertime concealment. Um, like I said, the Kydex real sturdy material, and now unlike the Black Hawk, there is no like retention lock, but it still is very, uh, very sturdy as you can see if you could hear it. So it's very sturdy, and um, when you go ahead and conceal it, it looks really nice and smooth. So you can, you know, you can't see that too much. I'm wearing a very big shirt; this is like huge on me, but even with a smaller shirt, you can barely see it. I mean, as you can see this side. This side, you could barely tell it's on me. So I suggest this one to anybody. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. You have a good one. Like I said, um, I suggest this. It is the Blade Tech Praetor Defense. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.